General purpose demolition bombs. Impact velocity as high as 750 miles an hour. Pierce five inches of armor plate. Destroy a factory. I know people listening to this interview will notice that you guys thought a hell of a lot of Lieutenant Lee. Did, did it make you angry? Did you want to get back up there and shoot the hell out of the enemy? Uh, what was your emotional reaction to losing such a good friend and a good pilot as that when the you heard only, about it? The only thought I had uh, at debriefing, and was, I don't know who he was, they were all officers. And he explained, it, at least to me, uh, that we had lost L Lieutenant Lee. He said they didn't think he ever uh, left the aircraft. The aircraft was shot down inside a wing or something off of it, and he followed. He had followed the down to the ground with the, the, the uh, shot up airplane, and that's how I found it. It kind of. Uh, you, know, you hear things, but you don't want to believe it until the, the man himself tells you. Now, okay, now you believe it. That he is, he's gone. One of the finest men you'll ever meet. He was a and a good aircraft commander. He took care of us, made sure we had a little talk now and then how to act, you know, so forth. Mm -hmm. But and we all liked him. Never heard a word that ever said against him. Not one. Mm -hmm. Fine man. roughly one second to climb 1,000 feet. It would take then about 27 seconds for a shell to reach the 27,000 foot level. This plane represents a bomber formation flying 200 miles per hour. If the gun is aimed directly at the planes at the time the shell is fired, the formation will have moved on almost two miles before the shell reaches their altitude. That's why a gunner always leads his target like a hunter firing at ducks in flight. The hunter must judge his lead and aim ahead of the duck if he is to hit it. The enemy's automatic weapons do not rely on directors, for with the great decrease in the range with which they deal, the leading problem becomes almost as rapid as the duck hunters. And with the time of flight so short, gentle 20 degree changes will turn ducks or bombers into clay pigeons. So against light flak, your protection lies in maximum speed combined with all the sudden alterations in the direction of flight that are possible within the limits of your formation. Skid turns, porpoising, corkscrews, side slipping, anything which will keep those gunners guessing. As industrial minister, was later to claim that the sheer quantity of resources retained in Germany to defend it from the US and British bomber offensive constituted the second front a long time before the Allied landings in France. Indeed, by the autumn 1943, the need to protect the cities of Germany had seen an extremely large concentration of anti-aircraft weapons, which could have been better employed on the battlefields in Russia and elsewhere. Bomb. Bomb away. 
I'll try and describe the hitch for you. Oh, boy. Right on the nose. We really hit it. We walked our bombs right over the target. There's a terrific explosion. It's going up in smoke. The whole thing is going up in flames. It's burning. to and from the target, the initial point, and the bomb run all must be planned to take advantage of the latest available flak intelligence. And even more important, all must then be flown exactly as planned.